I wanted to show you how the whole deployment works out of the box inside JDeveloper. So I have a JDeveloper that basically I didn't change anything in the configuration. Uh, and I want to show you that you don't need to stop your application and rerun it every time. This not only is going to slow your development cycle, but it's also going to consume more memory over time. So instead of it, use the whole deployment and let me show you how powerful it is in JDeveloper now. So here we have a page and in this page you can see the layout is a little chunky. So what I'm going to sh first show you is that if you go to the JSF source and you just change this XML file, for example, setting the width of the two columns, save it, you don't even need to recompile, you go back to your browser and you reload, you get the updated reflected here. Okay, now so let's do something a little bit more advanced. So we're still working inside this uh, view controller project. And in here, we're going to now go and define a new Java class. Okay, so we're just going to create a dummy Java class uh, in our view controller project that we would use as a managed bin in our environment. So all we're going to do there is define a, a private string um, just to return some value. Yeah, we'll do a MOOC string here and we'll generate the accessors. And again, this is just to show you that what I'm doing here is actually adding a new class to my project, okay? And then I'm going to change one of the core XML files, the ADFC uh, config, and I'm going to define this new managed bin. So again, this is outside of the JSF itself. It's one of the configuration files here. Okay, and we're just going to find our class one that we created and edit here. And then we're going to go into the JSF file and actually use this new managed bin that we just defined um, inside our page. We can, for example, use it um, over in the end section of the page. Let's just drag a button over here. And then for the um, text on the button, let's switch it to actually reference the value that comes from the managed bin. And that's basically it. So what a lot of people would do right now is, okay, I did all those changes, they would save everything, but then they would stop the running application. And you don't need to do it, just rebuild your project. So this is the view controller project, I'm rebuilding it. I'm going back to my browser and I reload the application and my button is there with the value that comes from the extra class I added. Now one step further is that this also applies to changes in other projects in the same workspace. So for example, if I now go into my um, model layer and I create a Java class there. Okay. Um, so similar concept, I'm just going to create um, some string that I can access uh, over here. Um, let's do a model string, which returns a model. And let's also add, for example, um, a method into this Java class. So we'll have a method that we can invoke. So we'll just do a say hi type of method over here. And again, this is done in the model layer of the project. And then once I created this Java class, I'm going to save it and I'm going to then create a data control out of it. So if you're familiar with data control, this changes another XML file inside our model layer project. Okay. And that's the file that has been changed, the data controls DCX file. And now I'm going to go back into my JSF and actually drag this new data control into the page. So basically, again, I'm changing the page itself, I'm also changing the data binding for this page. So I'm changing the page def and I'm also changing the overall data binding file that defines which data controls are used in which page. Okay. So I just added um, this reference to the value and a reference a button that will actually invoke the method and we put them all in the same page and we probably want to just surround them with some panel group Okay, so they will all be seen in our application, just like that. And now again, all I need to do is save everything, okay, and then rebuild my view controller. Now my view controller depends on the model project, so it would actually pick up the changes from the model project, okay, so the new data control I created. I go back to my browser and I reload my page. 
this time it takes a little bit more because we're actually loading more classes. But at the end of the day, without rerunning my application, I actually get my page showing up with a new button and value.